Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today in Slow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and as usual with me is Allie. Hello. Today we have another snow globe to repair. <laughs> this is a uh, therapy snow globe for Allie. Uh, there's a clown in here, which tend to give Allie nightmares. They're demons. They're evil. So she's going to. Uh, all rain in hell. She's going to face this globe head on and uh, face her fears. Yeah, yeah. I, I really don't dig clowns, people, <laughs> so. at all. Um, I, I do like my carousel horses. Yes. And to any clowns who may be watching, uh, no offense. No offense uh, you. Uh, I'm fine with clowns. Uh, um, uh, Allie, uh, just, I guess, you know, I think maybe Allie might have been burned by a hot clown when she was young, and that might have, you know, kind of scarred her for life. It's possible. Uh, it, wrong, it, yeah. it happens. It happens. So, anyways, uh, what we have here today is a uh, carousel horse with a clown. And this is one of those, uh, looks like one of those mime clowns that has the, the white face. Uh, the water is very yellow, uh -huh. big air bubble. And the, it almost looks like the, uh, it almost looks like the, the carousel horse is up on its hind legs, you know, like, like, uh, what do they call mm. that? Uh, I can't remember what they call that when they, when they come up on their hind legs, but it's actually the, uh, the stoppers tilted. That's why it looks that way. It should be level. Um, and uh, let's see, this uh, this base, I'm not sure what this is made out of. It might be uh, ceramic possibly, but it's got some flowers on it and uh, <coughs> it's leaking water. Yeah, and uh, well, that's pretty much all we can say about it. Let's open it up and, uh, and fix it. Yeah, let's do all right, this. Let's do it. Therapy 101. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna try to do this without getting too much of the water that's leaking out of here all over our table here, but um, so the first thing I'm going to do here before I forget is I'm going to mark the bottom of this so I can put it back in the same way it came out. I'm gonna go right here by this uh, this foot right here and I'm gonna put it. <coughs> you can barely see it on this black cover, but I can see it. I'm gonna put one dot right there. And so we'll line up, Allie, this mm -hmm. leg right here with this mark with that dot right there and then it'll be in the proper place. So. Sometimes we forget to do that. Yeah, sometimes we do. <laughs> so, okay. So okay. we're just going to go ahead and hit this with yep. the uh, heat from the hair dryer right We've off the back. Yeah, I see a lot of uh, a lot of glue here. And uh, in order to avoid any, da any damage to the base, we're just going to go ahead and just start out with some heat and, and loosen that glue up. All right, okay. go ahead. Do it. Do it. All right. The cover is off. The cover is off. And you know, we never did check this uh, music no, box. Didn't. Does it work? I don't know. Yeah. I don't recognize is the it tune. Send in the clowns? I don't recognize the tune at all. We'll have to play it yeah. longer. If anybody recognizes that tune, let us know. Okay, so uh, now, as you can see here, uh, this is what we were talking about before. The horse looks like it's up on its hind legs. Looks like it's because, trying to take off to the sky. Right, because the stopper has been pulled in. As the water is leaking out, it's been pulled in. So, first step is going to be, and it looks like this has been partially taken care of for us, the pulling in of the stopper. It... Uh, loosened any glue that might have been holding on to it but let me see here just once that's why this spot that's why the whole thing didn't get pulled in because this spot was was glued was actually glued where the other one wasn't Ooh, look at that yummy wow. gummy glue a lot of glue okay here we go and the thing fell into the globe all Beautiful. Right. all right so let me go ahead and get, that. get, to get that yucky stuff well, let me you. fish this out of here here we go okay here we go all right there and there and hold on one more right there. Oh, oh, too much. Oh, there we go okay now i got it <laughs> all right okay there is one carousel horse with a clown and it's, like i said it's it, it looks like one of those it's, mime, like, a mime it, it's like a mime yeah uh, clown with a little pointy uh, hat and a carousel horse so uh, this has got some gunk. Look at this. It's got all this Ew. brown yeah, gunk on it. it. So we got we got to clean all this up. Sure. The uh, the figurine also has some stuff on it. Uh, we'll go ahead and clean that up with a soft brush and mm -hmm. some uh, dish soap. 
and then of course we're gonna pour all of this out and uh, get some fresh water in there. Is that snow or glitter? That's glitter. That's glitter. Yeah, we're just gonna we're go ahead and replace it with glitter. Yeah, we're gonna replace the glitter with new glitter and we're gonna place new water in there and we will be right back. Let's do it! All right, all right. so uh, the globe is clean. Uh, sometimes when that water turns yellow and brown, it uh, leaves a residue on the globe. So uh, I use this uh, handle sponge and just went in there with a little bit of uh, dish soap, cleaned it up real nice. And then Allie cleaned up, she faced her fears, <laughs> and she actually handled the uh, figurine and cleaned it with uh, this soft bristle brush, which uh, incidentally, th this came with our Keurig uh, coffee maker. <laughs> so um, any soft bristle brush should work. Yeah. That this won't damage anything, it's so soft. Uh, so anyways, he's all- And dish soap. Yeah, all cleaned up, ready to go. So, next step. This is a four inch globe, holds four cups of water. We're gonna put, okay, we normally put four tablespoons of glue, but lately Allie's been asking me to put an extra thing of glue in there. So we're gonna yep. go with five tablespoons of glue so that the snow and the glitter sm uh, fall slower. So uh, that's gonna be the new thing now, an extra, an extra tablespoon of glue. So, uh, let's start out with some water. So we're gonna fill this snow globe about a little over three quarters of the way, not all the way, because of the displacement of the uh, figurine. All right. Yes, because he usually gets shot in the face with water, folks. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add glue. So as I said, this is a four inch globe, holds four cups of water, one tablespoon per cup, and then an extra one for Allie. Yup. So, I'm gonna count this out in my head. We'll probably just skip to, to the end, but uh, here we go. Okay. All right, that was about five tablespoons of glue approximately. And if you haven't seen our videos before, you know, we go mm -hmm. through this just in case. Every time uh, you stir it up, it's gonna be cloudy at first, but if you continue stirring, it uh, clears up once the uh, glue is dissolved. There you go, all clear. Now, Allie's going to add her glitter. I and what have did what did you choose today? Two colors. Okay. Uh, the first color is champagne. Champagne. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do my eighth. All right. Eighth of a teaspoon of champagne. Eighth of a teaspoon. Okay. Uh, a hefty eighth. All right. Okay. A heaping eighth. Heaping eighth. Okay. And then sky blue. Sky blue. Okay. Heaping eighth. Oh, to go with the uh, blue and the yes. figurine. Okay. Yes. I get it. Okay. And this champagne color is as close to the original um, color that was in there. It was like a goldish kind of champagne color that was in there. Um, and it's as close as I've got to it. It's actually pretty close. And then um, here is the eighth of the, the heaping eighth of the blue. All right, so one eighth. If I can get some of this off of this. One eighth teaspoon of each color. Yeah, and I find that um, that's a, I really like that amount. It's not too much. It's not too little. I, I think it's a good amount. Again, yeah, personal it looks preference. Good. It looks good. It looks like a gold uh, gold tornado in there. Yeah. All right. So now, Allie, if you could hold this, please. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take some of the water from the globe, and I'm going to put it on the stopper so that it uh, is now, installed easier. Okay. We didn't do an orientation. Yes, we did. Did we? I couldn't read. Oh, you know what? Ah! <laughs> that was on the previous one. We did not do an orientation, but yes, we I did. do know what direction we, we, but we You know what we did? We did. Oh, we, you said it was black and it was dark and you couldn't no, see it, No, right? you know what we did? We marked the cover instead of the stopper is what oh, we did. Oh, that's right. We, we, got, we got wrapped up from the last repair. We marked the cover instead of that. We should have marked the stopper is what we should have done. But we did, remember we put that little dot right yeah, there? Yeah, Right. Well, we, we should have marked this. But anyways, you know what? It's going to be easy because the, this, the, the clown... Yeah was facing the flowers. Exactly. That's basically it. Exactly. As long as the clown is facing the flowers, we're, we're, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> we're torques. So let me see. Okay, here we go. The uh, the clown uh, is facing... Yeah, I think that's good right there. It. May I see it? Sure, you go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's, it's funny. Okay, hold on. It might... I think... Or you know, honestly, you can you can put it wherever you want it. It doesn't have to face the same way it faced yeah. when we when we no, took it apart. No, I think. Um, whoopsie! I turned it too much. That right, like right there. Right there. Yeah. 
Okay, so let me go ahead and what I will do is I will push the uh, stopper in halfway and then mm -hmm. we can turn it over. It shouldn't leak and we can take a better look at it. Well, it, <laughs> I, tr I tried to put it in halfway, it went all the way. Oh, so there we, there we go. So it's all the way in there. All right, there we go. All right, so that's how it looks. Let's see. That's, yeah. that's straight. Let's see here. Oops. You know what? I think the back of the horse needs to come up a little bit. I think it's but still. The, but the orientation's good. Oh, the orientation's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's see here. I think that looks better. Okay. Let's that's that's that. actually, I think, yeah, the, the carousel horse is level now. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Okay. All right, so now to get it that. It does look less creepy with the, yeah. with the murky water with, with gone. With the clean water, it doesn't look quite as, yeah. as, as alarming, right? Exactly, got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me, I just noticed it was leaning one way. On the, okay, there we go. Now it's perfectly straight. Okay. All right, so we're going to get this air bubble up here to the top and we're going to tilt it to make sure it gets over there. Okay. I am going to get my water here and my syringe because I think this is going to be a two syringe air bubble. Mm -hmm. It looks that way. Okay, fill that syringe up with water. Uh, doctor, doctor, <laughs> give me the news. Got a bad case. <laughs> I'm loving you. Thank you. Uh, let me pull I'll this I'll be here down. all week, folks. Yes, yes, you will. <laughs> all right, so. Okay, I've got the stopper. I'm going to pull it back and get that syringe past the stopper into there we go okay let's see if i'm right let's leave this as a two syringe bubble okay yeah i think it might be a three syringe bubble mm -hmm. okay so i feel like this might be a four syringe bubble three you think so three. okay okay there's one mm -hmm. and this is number three which should be the final one like i said three depending on how many times it takes to get an air bubble out <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. It could lead into four right there. <laughs> it's hard to say. Okay, hold on a second. Here we go. i am got air, uh, all the air out, the water. No air bubble. <gasps> Good <gasps> job. Uh, oh. One pop. Oh, you know what? Diablo. Diablo. No, it, <laughs> the uh, the ornament, uh, excuse me, not the ornament, the, the uh, what do you call it? Figurine. Uh, the figurine may have had a little air bubble trapped in there, so now that I've moved it around. Okay. So we got like a couple of little tiny bubbles there. We'll let we're, it settle. We're going to let this sit for a minute until all the little tiny air bubbles inside here gather up and then we'll get that last one out off camera and then we'll come back and seal it all up. All right. See it? Diablo. <laughs> okay, we have all the water dried up in here. Uh, we started out carefully with a paper towel, just get up what was, uh, you know, little puddles, whatever. And we let it sit for a while. Sometimes we'll use a hair dryer if we're in a hurry. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful not to heat it up to the point where the glue melts, but uh, you can use a hair dryer to dry it up. But we actually just uh, let it sit here for a while. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue, hot glue, between the uh, glass lip of the globe across over the uh, rubber stopper to seal the globe up, keep it from leaking. Uh, hopefully it'll never leak again if, once we're right. done here. <laughs> right. So let's go ahead and uh, seal this globe up. Do you know it is a clown, so. He can escape, yes. He could escape. Yeah. And there we go. Okay, that's all the way around. And let's see. Uh, we have a couple of bubbles popping up in the glue. That means there's a little bit of water in there. I don't want to pop it. Oh, heck yeah. It's my so, uh, 10 year old self. Right. I need to pop it. So, well, I always going to pop those bubbles because if you don't pop those bubbles, they could turn into a leak uh, because there's like a hollow space in there. I think I, All right. it looks like I got the bubbles. All right, so she popped those bubbles. I'm going to put a little bit of glue where those bubbles were just to make sure it's all sealed up and nothing uh, happens here. There we go. And uh, looks good. Okay. Okay. So now we are going to put the cover on it. Could okay. you hold that please? Yes. All I right. Gotcha. And I'm going to put three drops of glue as usual. That's all it takes in our opinion. Mm -hmm. And of course, for Allie, I will do the twirl uh, before I, there we go. Thank uh, you. Welcome, and then it's we drop. so elegant. I know, it's the only way to finish off a glue, <laughs> a hot glue <laughs> job, right, exactly. <laughs> you have to do a little twirl. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna let that uh, glue cool, and then we're gonna take a look at it. Mm -hmm. 
So there it is. It's all finished. And it looks really good with the new water. Mm -hmm. uh, big difference. It looks it looks very different with the clean water. Better than I thought it would uh, when I saw it with the yellow water and the way it was before. Uh, so clean water, new glitter. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, yeah. This is a uh, you know pretty straightforward. Uh, let me go ahead and just turn it so you can see it all the way around. The hey, the he's... horse is level. It's not looking like it doesn't look like it's on its hind legs anymore. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's trying to take off for the sky. Right. Yeah, I um, it like you said, a good therapy. Uh... Good therapy glow for Ali. Yeah. Therapy glow. So um. Also, one thing I'm going to point out, because we had a couple of subscribers uh, asked about this. Uh, after they fixed their, their own globes, they said there was some uh, glitter stuck to the, to the globe. And as you can see, we have a few, I don't know if you can see, we have a few pieces of glitter up here that uh, this happens sometimes. Sometimes the glitter will stick to the top of the globe or inside. And what we've noticed is after a few days, if you shake it up, eventually all that glitter will uh, will fall. It just takes time for some reason. Some of the glitter, I don't know why it sticks to the glass, but it eventually does fall if you uh, if you wait enough, a uh, few more days. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna shake it up so you can see the uh, glitter, and then we're gonna play the song. Now, uh, I don't recognize the song. Allie thinks she recognizes the song, so you tell us if uh, what you think. Okay, here we go. So my thought is, to me, it sounds like um, Andrew Lloyd Webber's "Music of the Night" from *Phantom of the Opera*. If you guys have a, if you guys know for sure that it's something else, please let me know. But this is what it sounds like to me. So yeah, so I mean, Ali played it for me, the uh, song from *Phantom of the Opera*, which I'm not that familiar with, but uh, it does, it does sound similar. So it could very well be. So, anyways. Uh, this was a, uh, like I said, this is a very simple, straightforward uh, fix. It looks good, turned out great. And uh, you know what, Ali's gonna put it in the collection. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the collection. Even though it's got a clown on it. <laughs> 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 nothing wrong with clowns, nothing wrong with clowns. I say. But anyway, so uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for joining us. And uh, we hope to see you in the next video. And there's some uh, links coming up to some of our other videos. So thanks very much. And uh, we'll see you Thank then. Thank you so much for your time. Bye. Bye.